congratulations on the first win of the season. Obviously, big day for you guys. Seven and three points against Evangel. Could you just talk about uh, coming out here and uh, having a lot of success right off the bat? Well, um, you know, I'm, I'm just glad for these players, all the hard work they do, and to see a real smile on their face and, and seeing some success. And uh, an enjoyable thing, too, as a coach is that we were – uh, able to play a lot of guys, and, and even as we played more of the younger guys or inexperienced guys, they were still executing at a good clip, and we didn't have really the real ragged part of the game, you know. So I thought offensively we were pretty efficient uh, the whole night. Uh, I thought defense, they, you know, they met the challenge more the second half because, again, Evangel made some nice plays uh, with their offense, but I thought that our defense came out. And uh, they still gave up a couple plays, but basically it was uh, they shut them out in the second half, which, you know, I commend that. Uh, there's still things we need to clean up all three sides of the, you know, with the special forces and everything. I know uh, we're really um, a little bit, we can't wait for this bye, to be honest with you. We're still banged up. I mean, we had guys have to play a lot of snaps tonight, and uh, they didn't mind doing it, but. There's a whole lot of guys that we have on this football team. I bet we have at least a dozen potential starters not even playing right now. And that's a good thing I'm talking about, knowing that they're, hopefully they can get healthy and get back to help us. And also we're getting uh, other guys some valuable experience. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of good to come, but the bye couldn't come at a better time for us. Mm -hmm. Offensively, did you guys expect to score 73 points and uh, rush for as many yards uh, as you guys? Well, I felt like uh, the matchups were more favorable against Evangel, to be honest with you. Um, but no, we don't go in thinking that. I just felt like if we executed, that we, we would uh, stay out on the field and be able to finish drives. And we executed pretty well. It was pretty clean, uh, not very ragged for the most part. Um, I thought that we pounded the ball well. We ran, ran the ball very effective and, and physical. We also threw the ball very efficient. Um, and so uh, when you're balanced on offense, you're hard to defend. And then, of course, uh, tonight I played technically four quarterbacks, and, uh, and they all played pretty efficient. Uh, and again, with uh, Landry uh, and uh, kind of working the Landry-Toscani combination early, and, and I, that's the way we're going. I was glad that I was able to get – Toscani can throw the football. The hard thing is, is being able to teach him everything in such a short period of time. And so he came in and he did complete some balls tonight. So that shows right there, at least for a defense, that it's not run every time with him. And that's what we want. And that's the same thing we're evolving with LaQuentin. You know, last week in the Tulsa game, he had rushed for almost 100 yards doing a lot of the same things and then threw the ball effectively too. So uh, I think that uh, we're uh, evolving pretty well offensively. I'm talking about some neat things. We know it's going to be a lot tougher road ahead in the conference. I know that we come out and play a lot of the more difficult teams in the conference early, you know. So uh, I just uh, want to see us uh, – and use this bye week wisely, get healthy, but also get better. And we need to get better fundamentally. You mentioned Toscani. Um, obviously, second straight week he's impressed you. Uh, you know, just talk about him coming as a freshman, you know, showing poise and really looking like a, a four-year veteran out there. When yeah, he's well, one thing, he's a little different style runner than LaQuentin. LaQuentin's more elusive, to be honest with you, but Toscani's elusive but also powerful. And he's still a young guy just being a true freshman, but just think when he gets a year in the weight room too. And so he, he's doing very well. I was pleased with Bo Bear. Bo's coming from that rotator cuff surgery uh, or labrum tear. And he's, I thought he hung in there well, you know what I mean, for his first action of the year. And he had a good command of the offense and what we were doing. It was good to see two weeks in a row with our backs, with Marcus Washington and Jesse the main ones initially, uh, they're hard, tough running, that they were able to break some tackles and keep balance and all that. I was pleased with our receivers advancing the ball after the catch. Uh, and we knew they'd play a lot of man coverage, and we were able to make some big plays and be out in the open field making longer runs and, or you know advances with the ball. So when, when I sit back and look at it, there's a whole lot you know to kind of uh, build off of and, and to go for. And, uh, you know, it's in coaching, uh, 
you can really get better as long as you give them enough positive. You know what I mean? And so right now, they, that locker room's not satisfied. You know, they're, they're pleased, you know, they're, they're happy because it's a tough road. The schedule that I've given them is very demanding. Just think if we had opened up with Oregon State as schedule. I mean, it's very demanding, but I'm glad they've had some success. It couldn't have come at a better time. Now let's uh, get ready in two weeks for our, our opener, you know, in the conference against a very good Central Arkansas team. Mm -hmm. And this week, uh, like I said, going into the bye week, uh, I'm guessing you're going to cut back and you know, let the yeah, kids rest. Yeah, what we do, it, what I've got scheduled is uh, Monday will be normal. I'm talking about where we watch this film and get the soreness out and lift and all that. But then we'll practice Tuesday, Wednesday, but then have a shorter practice on Thursday dealing with special forces. And then I'll give them some time away because it will be uh, nothing but wall to wall football the rest of the way. So we'll give them off Friday, Saturday, and then return Sunday afternoon for a team meeting and then get back into game week versus Central Arkansas. So we'll give them some time because I know it's going to be a big push and I want them to be re-energized. Mm -hmm. Say conference plays coming up. You want your team playing at its best, and that like was one of our goals. I thought that I know offensively we got a little bit better, definitely from the South Alabama game against Tulsa, and we had glimpses, but we just didn't finish in the red zone because I felt like if we finished in the red zone versus Tulsa, which is a good team, I felt like we should have been in the mid 30s in scoring, but we just didn't finish. So I, I could see some good things evolving, but we just didn't reap the rewards. But tonight, we were able to overcome some third and longs. And we had to make some plays. They didn't lay down. You know, we had to make some plays. We had to make the blocks and the runs. And we also had to make the throws and catches. So, you know, uh, they challenged us. They pressured us. And I thought that uh, we handled it pretty well. Just talk about getting the first win of the season. Uh, big win here at home to open up the year, huh? Yeah, it was a big win. Uh, we went in, we, wanted, we, we didn't want to give up anything. We felt like 17 points was still just not, I mean, not good enough. Um, we just we wanted to dominate. But I mean, a win's a win. It's good to get the first one. And we just got to uh, gotta move on and get ready for UCA. Because I mean, from what I hear, they beat Sam Houston tonight. And they're going to be tough. And we got we to gotta be A game for them. Obviously, everyone's going to talk about the points y'all scored here tonight. Uh, but you know, from a defensive standpoint, how good was it to see your offense play like well? Offense came to play. That's, that's all I can say about that. If we can get that every week, I'll take it. Because we're going to try to hold them under 14, anybody. And if, we, if they can score like that, then we're going to be unbeatable. Mm -hmm. Evangel, they came out, uh, they scored some points in the first half. Uh, just talk about uh, what you guys were able to do in the second half to keep them from scoring. We had a lot of missed tackles, some busts. Um, I guess we just had to get in, the, get in the groove. And we came in at halftime, and we just said we got to win the second half. We wound up not giving up any points in the second half, and, and, and that was our goal when we achieved it. So it was, it was good, but still not good enough. Mm -hmm. You had an interception. Uh, a couple of turnovers you guys forced. Just talk about uh, yeah. getting that, getting those turnovers and getting getting the ball back to your offense and good turnovers. It's great to have those takeaways. I think we were uh, maybe like plus three or plus four in the turnover margin today, and you can't lose like that. It's hard. It's hard to lose like that. We need that every week. How good was it? Were y'all fired up playing first home game? Obviously, y'all had your own fans yeah. up starting the season off on the road. Were y'all really fired up playing here? Yeah, it was, it's, it's good to be home. I mean, uh, it would have been three, but we played two away games. Good to not be on a bus or a plane. It's just good, good to be home. Obviously, y'all going into oh, it's a good atmosphere. Obviously, y'all going into a bye week now. Um, before y'all get ready for uh, UCA, just talk about. What y'all hope to do this week? Um, you know, give y'all a chance to rest injuries. You know, look at some film. Uh, what's gonna be the mindset of the team as y'all go throughout this week? You know? Improvement. Um, you just gotta focus on the little things. Like, like I said, we, we missed some tackles tonight, myself included. We had some busts um, in deep, like in the secondary. Uh, just gotta improve overall uh, mindset. Come out and punch them in the face, and and it'll all take care of itself from there. First of all, uh, talk about the win, obviously. First win of the season, uh, how important was this? Uh, you guys to come out and play well today. It was, um, it was big. We all had to come together and execute. We know what we had to do to, you know, to start you know, the season right on the right track to get you know, our first win you know, and get ready for, for a conference. 
right off the bat, you guys came out offense. You know, a lot of touchdowns today. Did y'all expect to have so much success that you guys did? Um, we felt like we could put up a lot of points, and then once we came out there, linemen blocked. You know, receivers did what we had to do. Defense came out there, and we just went from there. Obviously, for you, uh, you're a freshman, and you got your first touchdown, a couple touchdowns, three touchdowns today. Uh, how does that make you feel, knowing that you uh, were able to contribute to the offense like this uh, like you did today? Uh, it was it was big. You know? It was exciting to go in there and get my first one, and then they just started coming in after that. You know, linemen just opened up the holes. The receivers held the blocks down the field. And, you know, great fakes and, you know, touchdown. Obviously, out there Wildcat, you know, you seem like you – you know, a physical type of quarterback, you know, able to make big plays, you know, uh, running the ball. Uh, let's talk about what you bring to the offense and, you know, how you hope to you know, continue to add on to the success that you have. Um, you know, because of uh, my speed and then vision to, to see and then being, you know, getting the chance to see the hole from, you know, six yards, five yards back, it's, you know, makes it a little, it's easier to, you know, get a hole and then you got to, Use my ability to, to get yards. She's done a big win. Uh, how, how good was it to uh, come out here in front of your home fans and put together an impressive performance like this? Uh, it felt good just winning. It's been a while, obviously, so that was a, that was a good thing. And then, um, yeah, you know, we expected to play well, and we came out, and I think we did that. And so, yeah, you know, we're looking forward to the, the next game, I guess. Mm -hmm. Coming to this game, did y'all feel like y'all could, you know, score as many touchdowns as you guys did? And, I think we definitely had the potential. We just had to, you know, we didn't, weren't really sure where we were after the last two weeks. Um, so, and we still, I guess we still don't because we haven't played at a school our level yet. And, um, but it's good to see, you know, we haven't done as well as we'd like the first two games. So it's good to see that, you know, we do have the capability. Um, you know, we'll watch film and see what we did wrong and try and improve on that. But yeah, it felt good putting up points, definitely. A lot of contributors, you know, yes. whether it's receivers, running backs, three three running backs with over 100 yards, and a lot of receivers, big catches. Uh, even Tuscany came and did good. Uh, a lot of contributors. How good is that for everybody to step up? Well, it's good for everyone to have, a, you know, a good game. You know, everyone likes to be successful and everything like that. And then it also, the more people you have that can contribute, the harder you already stop, you know. So we have a weapon in Tuscany, but, you know, uh, two people I do want to give a shout-out to is Bo Hebert and then uh, Jimmy Wentworth, who – had pretty serious injuries over the summer, and the fact that they were able to get in um, this game was just awesome. And then they both, you know, contributed, like you said. Uh, I think Bo had a touchdown, could have had a couple. But, um, you know, it was awesome to see them be on the field. Mm -hmm. As for you, you look, you know, comfortable, confident up back there throwing the ball. Uh, like you really proud of Yeah, we have, you know, well, we have a really good offensive line. At, and, um, you know, really the success of the running backs, the receivers, and myself, it all starts with them. I mean, it really does. The game's won up front, and uh, we have a good group. Guys work really hard. Uh, Coach Jebrill does a really good job, and, you know, we're excited to play behind those guys. You mentioned Tuscany. Uh, you know, he's really stepped up his game since LaQuinton went out with the collarbone injury last week. Just talk about what, you, what you're what you seeing from him on the sidelines, a freshman coming out there, making big runs like he I mean, he's awesome. You know, he can throw it, too. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, for him to be a freshman and be able to run strong and, you know, do as well as he's doing, you know, he's going to be a big factor for this team going into conference and, you know, our success. So he's, you know, he's going to have a big role and we're excited to have him. Obviously, it's the bye week, so you guys get a week of rest, uh, week of rest after uh, three games. Uh, talk about uh, what you want to see from the team this week as you guys, uh, you know, try to get healthy before going into the conference stretch. Uh, I guess that's the biggest thing, just get healthy, get feeling good, because then we have a stretch that, we're, you know, this is conference, this is what counts. You know, we haven't played a game that counts. You know, we want to win all the games, and all the games are important, but they don't really count to our success. And now it starts, and so it's cool to have a bye week right before that. Get healthy, get feeling good, you know, just have a week to work on the fundamentals and everything like that. And then, you know, we're going to have this stretch of games, and that's going to determine how successful our season actually is. So, yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing is get healthy and, uh, yeah. Coming to this game, y'all lost a lot of games. Y'all got this win. Do you feel like you guys can shock some people in that, in that conference? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, we're picked to be last in the conference. You know, no one on this team feels like we are, you know, the worst team in the conference by any means. And, uh, yeah, absolutely. We feel like we will shock many teams. So, yes.